All right, so here's the longtime Jackson Wink MMA staple, former UFC women's bantamweight champion Holly Holm. DC, she's got the highlight of all highlights. She'll be looking to produce another one here tonight. That night she knocked out Ronda Rousey was absolutely insane because Ronda Rousey was still riding super hot and nobody thought she had a chance. Set up that beautiful head kick just because, as always, Holly Holm will follow a game plan to a T. One of the smartest fighters in the entire UFC uses her brain, her skill, and her footwork in order to set traps for opponents, and then she strikes and strikes to finish the fight. Holly Holm is a phenomenal fighter. And when her back has been up against the proverbial wall, she comes out and dominates someone like Megan Anderson, as she did back at UFC 225. Holly Holm chasing further greatness here tonight. are on the UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion as she tries to succeed in defending the title yet again. She's one of the best pound-for-pound -pound fighters, man or woman, on this roster and prohibitively favored yet again in defense of her title. I love her confidence. I just love the way she carries herself as the champion. You don't have to know she's the champ to know she's the champ because when you look at her, she has that star ability about her. And even though she has that, all of it's rooted in her fighting ability. She is one of the best the Octagon's ever seen. And I do think she could be a double champion, but she was sort of reticent to hear that conversation. She is focused on the task in front of her tonight. All right, both fighters have graced the Octagon, and that means we are ready to go with live action from the Scotiabank Arena here in Toronto, where some of the best fans in all of MMA have come out to see our fights here tonight. Our tale of the date for this women's bantamweight championship fight. We set it inside the octagon. Here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Holly, the preacher's daughter. Oh! And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC women's bantamweight. Champion of the world, Kayla Harrison. All right, Herb Dean, our referee Great, right. for this one, just about right. to get underway. So here she is, Holly Holm, the former UFC champion. In 2017, she was inducted into the International Women's Boxing Hall of Fame. But her arsenal has been kick heavy in mixed martial arts. We will see how she approaches this particular challenge tonight. The fighter lands a nasty kick. And that's the danger in the engagement there. That's how you block a strike. Oh, nice elbow. Staying busy in the clinch, lands a nice punch there. Well, her front kick is a beautiful thing, and she got it home there. Gotta think that that's a good sign for her in a matchup with a fighter that maybe has more ways to win over it. That's a big moment for her landing this particular strike, because this strike allows for her to stay standing and also keeps her in a range where she can see what's coming in her direction. Big spot. I know it's only one, but it's very big in terms of where and how this fight's going to play out. Shots landing on both sides here. She gained separation, breaks that close position. Man, 
Man, she is just breaking her down with volume tonight as she lands another combination. I mean, over and over, she is just landing so many different attacks. It's amazing to watch someone never throw less than three. She's throwing at least three every time she enters. Oh, there's a takedown attempt. Nice one, two there. So three minutes have flown off the fight clock there. Work, work, come on. Ooh, upper cut lands. Stuffs the takedown shot there. How good is her takedown D? All right, so she finally gets the takedown here after many failed attempts. Obviously, she was not discouraged, stayed committed. Now she has the fight in her wheelhouse on the canvas. Let's see what she can do with it. Missed on the right hand. Shots here. All right, so her ground control is outstanding. Oh, in good position to rip off a Kimura here. Oh, that Kimura looks tight. Wow, it looked like the arm might end the fight. Instead, she gets out. It was over, and that's so discouraging for the opponent to survive something like that. Hats off to the young lady and the submission defense. So there's the end of the round. She has a cut on her lip. That much is obvious. We'll see if the cut man can get in there, shut that thing down, and prevent it from becoming a major factor here moving forward. No problem. I really like your defense out there. All right, so we will see another round here. Sat her opponent down there in that previous round with a punch. Surprisingly. Surprisingly, we are going forward because I thought it was over. I saw that punch land. We started to yell. We started to scream. We thought the fight was done. But we move forward because her opponent is so tough, but she's so skilled that she can't get there again. You ready to fight? Ready. Here we are, early round two. All right, so as this round gets underway, let's see if the high-level action continues. Both women had their moments in that previous round. Now we'll see if there's more aggression, and we'll see if one fighter can really take control. Oh, you talk about mixing the martial arts. Perfect strategy here. Half guard position for her here, and if you're the bottom fighter, this is truly a case of, of pick your poison. Yeah, you gotta pick your poison. And if you're on the bottom, you gotta be trying to find a way to escape that bottom leg. You cannot allow your opponent, you cannot allow her to sit on your leg and just throw big damage and strikes. You got to make sure you're on an elbow control, an underhook, and getting back to your feet. Oh, nice straight punch there by the Preacher's dog. Well, she nearly got her out of there with the knockdown in the previous round, and her confidence remains high here, and she's building on that momentum. She's building on the momentum that she gained in round number three. That was not by mistake. She knows exactly and knew exactly what she was throwing to secure that knockdown. Just over three minutes to go in round two. Attempting a choke now. Oh, she's got an arm triangle here, and it looks tight. Struggling to finish. Oh, she got out. How good is that? All right, so just as we saw in the previous round, she is realizing a lot of success with her kickboxing game tonight, and you can see the confidence growing with every strike landing. It's overwhelming for her opponent to be in there with her when she's in this flow state. She's so good at everything she's doing that now the activity is starting to pick up. If she can continue to fight in this way, I wouldn't be surprised if this fight gets finished. Okay. Oh, you got to keep pressing here. Could be the beginning of the end. Oh, she landed a oh, 
she goes high, and she did not miss there. This could be the end. Of I mean, she hurt her so bad with that big head kick. I don't know how she stands. Oh, more attack. Yep. Oh, she's got that Kimura locked in tight. She might get the Kimura finish here if she's just patient. If she doesn't lose her lock on the wrist, and she takes her time to try to finish this fight. She can't hold it down. Get up, get up, get up. Oh, from the canoe to the elbow now. Oh, saved by the oh, bell. Stop, Round stop, over. Stop. And the finish came just in time. Thought maybe she might tap there, but you know how tough she is. So the submission attempt right at the end of the round, saved by the bell, back to the stools they go. We'll see if she can recover in time for this next round. All right, so there's the end of the round. We're going to get you some replays here. Her submission offense is outstanding, just unable to get it tight enough there. She's such a great grappler. She manipulates you so well on the ground that you see why people try to avoid grappling with her at all costs. But she got the fight where she wanted to. She almost got the submission that would have ended the fight. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. Oh, nice inside leg kick. Yeah. Oh, combination striking at its best. Another great sequence out of it. She is just throwing everything with so much confidence. Every time she throws, she believes that she is going to land. And to this point, she has done just that. Mm, that was nice. Right the side control. Yep. Yes, smart adjustment, yep. Oh, huge connection fire there. Massive shot, land. How is she going to try to find the next shot that'll finish the fight? Big left hand there inside. Oh. Nice leg kick. Nice left hand. In full guard now, DC, and I know when you're in this position, you're looking to pass the half guard pretty quick. Oh, absolutely, trying to get the half guard so I can start to get up ground and pound. This is exactly what she, uh, watch the, the, the arm bar going up. Ooh, she's got the submission locked in. Yeah, it's getting very deep now. Great submission defense on full display by the opponent. Really good job by her in the bottom position to land a strike and not idle it. So she backs up here and lets her opponent stand up. Just over two minutes to go. Her opponent's hurt. Beautiful placement on that hook. What a great job of finding such a massive shot. Starting to add up, bleeding from her cheek now. Well, we could be looking at an epic comeback here. She rocked her significantly, but wasn't able to finish the fight, and now her opponent maybe creeps back in. Her opponent will now try to find a way to work her way back into the fight. It will be on her to once again land one of those See, I know you got my back. She's got her back, and she can do a lot of damage from here. I've got your back as an I'm your boy, J.A. She's got her back as if she wants to end her night right now. She's got to be very careful. Ooh, this could be it. That thing is tight. That arm triangle is deep. Oh, yeah, it's a fight here. Oh, look at the fight here. I thought it was over. I thought it was over, but that's one thing you know. Never underestimate these fighters in their submission defense. All right, so there's the horn indicating the end of the round, but not before damage was done. She was cut on her cheek from the strike in that round, and now the focus for the cut man shutting that thing and making sure it doesn't become a factor here moving forward. Well, I'm not sure if the swelling is just cosmetic. She might be severely injured. Let's look back at some replays from that round. Well, when you take shots that clean, you run the risk of being injured and injured badly. 
She was not good defensively. And ultimately, she's the one that's paying for it. She has got Ready to fight. change something Ready. if she wants to stay in this fight. Fourth round, fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, here we go. Fourth round of a possible five is now underway. And now is the time, DC, where the endurance, the cardio, and the overall skills of these women figures to be tested. Yes, both of them will be tested on the skill level, but also right, the mental time. level, the emotional level. Oh, she is well with that. We might get a stoppage here soon. Oh, what a strike from her there out of that bottom position. She is offense all the time. She blocked that punch. Well, she lands another strike to the body here, and the percentage is getting high now in terms of the body strikes landed. Didn't see a lot of that earlier on. Making up for lost time here. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Very crafty, finding an opening to land a beautiful punch. Man, look at the redness almost immediately on the right side of her body. All right, in the full guard here, DC, where does she go from here? She needs to be passing, right away passing, trying to pass to get good ground and pop off. And she gets back up again. Oh! Oh, pinpoint execution on the hip toss there. She's able to take her down. Her opponent felt like she knew this attack would be coming. She couldn't stop it there. But she did not see the setup. She did not see her opponent push into her, inviting her to push back. The moment she pushed back, boom, time to go for a ride. Unbelievable. Trying to finish the arm triangle, but she cannot rush. She's got to take her time. She's got to be patient, and the finish will show itself. Oh, we're in the fight now. What a struggle for the submission. She escapes. Work. Gotta be careful here. All right, well, she continues to try to set up submissions here, but there it is, gets denied again. Once again, the submission is denied. This is just great submission defense. I mean, she's so locked in, she doesn't give you any chance. It'll be very hard to get her out of here with a submission. In the half guard. Oh, she's in trouble, dude. Most fighters will tell you offensive wrestling is the hardest, most exhausting thing. Especially if you're just running the guy over, Jonathan, he just gets up. 20 seconds left. Nicely done. Get the back, get the back. Oh, she's got her back. 20 minutes down, potentially five to go. You ready to fight? You ready? Come it on. is the fifth and final round. Oh, she blocked it. Oh, what a straight punch by her there, DC. And now her opponent may be seeing stars at this point. Her opponent's seeing stars. Her opponent's hurt. She has to really get after her now and try to find that kill shot that's going to finish the night. Stuff to take down, no problem. Short uppercut in the clinch by home. She's in a of trouble. We'll see if she can survive. Oh! Oh my goodness!
huge TKO result here tonight, and this crowd is letting her know. John, you know how much I love to talk, and I'm sitting here almost speechless because this young lady looked amazing. She said she was going to get a finish, and that's exactly what she did. Wow. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 27 seconds of round number five. To play the winner by knockout and new undisputed USC bantamweight champion of the world, Holly the Preacher's Doctor. All right, so another big win in a career full of them for the preacher's daughter, Holly Holm. A lot of